Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to configure your uh, environment uh, properties um, for the NDK and for Java. Uh, as you recall, in the first tutorial, we downloaded SDK, we configured the SDK, and in the th last tutorial, we did uh, Java. Now we need to configure uh, the NDK and the uh, ANT. Um, in, in our uh, batch file, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do this. I decided to do one tutorial for just this because most of the problems come from a mi misconfigured batch profile. So let's let's do it together. So the first thing you need to do, you need to go into, uh, this is not the one, that's Eclipse. Open a terminal. And what you need to do is go sudo nano home and then patch rc file enter your password be careful in this file and go all the way to the end and as you can see this is what we did in the last tutorial. We configured Java. We did the Java home and we told this is the one we downloaded from Oracle. Okay, we're going to do, we did that in the first tutorial, second tutorial. Now we're going to do the NDK path, okay? This is very important because if you get this wrong, uh, the, the, uh, it's, it's not gonna find where the NDK build file is and you cannot build anything you cannot compile anything so you when you need to do the main thing I, I I sometimes you can do it just two of them I just put the third one I've been doing it like this forever so I have I don't know if it's right or not but it works for me um, the, this is for Eclipse because I'm gonna tell Eclipse a variable in, in the next tutorial I'll show you how to do that in Eclipse but I'm letting Eclipse know that there's a variable NDK, D root, NDK root and I'm giving it the path to where that folder that I downloaded from Google in the first tutorial and then this other that you haven't seen yet you will I will show you that in the next tutorial how, how I got that but I'm just gonna show you how to do it before so everything works and then the ex export the path and then don't forget that and then the path ndk root and then ndk this one is, as you can see there's one here and there's one here the reason is for that I, I want to separate between ant and eclipse you don't have to do it that way like I said I do it that way but it's up to you okay um, that I like to keep them separate so I show uh, the NDK I only use for ant and for certain other programs and NDK root I know that it's always going to be Eclipse okay and once you do that you go back here and do the same but for ant I'm going to show you in two tutorials from now how to configure just using ant and how to do Eclipse applications just by using ant if you don't want to use a, a graphical user interface or for, for some reason you don't want to use Eclipse. So I'll show you how to do, do it using ant. And all you need to do is the same thing. Tell Eclipse where the ant home is. Give it the name of the of the one that you downloaded from from Apache and if you don't know how to install Ant I, I will show you in the in the third tutorial in two tutorials for now how to do it and just export the Ant home and the to the binary files and uh, the binary directory and then the path okay but in the uh, next tutorial I will show you how to download, install, and configure the NDK, and the following tutorial will do, show you how to do the same with Ant. Uh, but this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next time. Thank you.